Hello everybody and welcome back to the John Deere farm here on Backroads County. Sorry for all the times I've mispronounced the name, but it is Backroads County. And as you can see, that corn that we've been working hard to plant over the last couple of episodes is going well. Here we are in May and I want to clean this up, but We'll do that later. What I want to do is take a look at our silage bales here because it might be TMR time. It should be TMR time. All right, 97% fermenting. So we're going to do an old, an old trick here. And we are going to, I know there's a quick key for this. We are going to go like this and try to get to 100%. 99. Boom. And that one, done, done. Okay. So now we'll go back to real time. Oh boy, look at them boogieing. Okay. So we should be able to open that up now. So we're going to get the 4020. Uh, actually, before I get the 4020, I think I'm going to put the 4440 onto the mixer. We don't yet have straw, however. Bum, ba, da, ba. Wait a minute. What? When? Growth. Good heavens, when is straw done? I mean, uh. Um, so that's a wheat field. We still have two more months? Wow. That feels like we planted that years ago. All right, sorry about the aside there. Uh, we are going to put in, oh shoot, I forget how much this thing can hold. Do a little, a little math here. Oh, you know, just 12 meters squared. What? Cubed. How much is that? I didn't sign up for math. Okay, well, we'll put in one bale, and we'll do the math from there. I know every mix takes at least one bale of silage. But I've never used this little shoot to mocker before, so hopefully it works out. I'm also a little bit alarmed that it didn't let me unwrap the bale. It should. It should say unwrap. Uh, what? How do I... Usually you hit E on it and it unwraps the one on the end. Well, that was pretty central to what I was going to do in this episode, so the fact that it's not working is uh, alarming, to say the least. Can I, do I have to wait and unwrap the whole sausage? Is that the issue here? Okay, um, hmm, well... Uh, I, I guess we uh, find another job to do. I 
I didn't buy a flatbed trailer yet to to do the hauling, but we can bring a few bales up and put them on the silage maker. We've got our work really cut out for us down here in this field. A lot of a lot of bales. I don't know what we'll do with that. I, I've I made silage with that exact operation on Elm Creek. So I don't understand why it's giving me grief on this one. I'm not I'm literally not doing anything different. Maybe it's the size of the bales or something? But the baler we're using isn't like some crazy wild size or anything that I know of. Very strange indeed. Wouldn't have it any other way though playing farm sim. Why would things work the way they are supposed to? This game is all one huge example of adapt or die. Is that going to stay? There we go, that should work. Alrighty. What do you guys think? In real life, could a 40 20? carry two grass bales? I'm gonna say no. Grass bales are pretty heavy. They're pretty dense. But, I mean a 4020 is a big, is a decent sized tractor. This game makes it seem kinda smallish to, or average size, but 4020 is no joke in real life. So we've got cows in this pasture and cows up in that field they probably need food now that I simulated through the month they probably need food I'm gonna have to take them hay bales I guess I was really just counting on this working the silage the silage maker I don't I don't know if there's a mod that I need that I didn't know I needed What irritates me is, in particular, is that I actually, like, made sure that I understood how this thing works before I included it in this save. And I used it on Elm Creek, and it worked great. It was fantastic. And now it's not working here. Should have just put in a fermenting silo. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let's try F1. Object too heavy. I know it's too heavy. What I want help with is how do I open it? How do I open it? Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's see if the cows need food. Yes. They're gonna stay alive. These ones need food. So I will grab them maybe one grass and one hay to get them through. And then after this episode is over I will go Google how to do that and see if it's my error or if the game just continues to be broken in which case I might I don't know uh, scream cry want to quit 
I don't know. There's so many things that I can make right using the easy development controls. I could just essentially delete those bales and buy silage bales from the store and replace the money. And we just kind of role play that it worked. But I want this to be set up right, you know? I don't want to have to cheat to make it work. I want it to genuinely work. Really? Is that gonna fall off? Probably. Am I still gonna try it? Absolutely. Cut through the corn. Just kidding. I can ruin immersion sometimes, but I can't do it that much. Can't do it that much. Wow, I was really counting on this episode being like, and here we're making TMR, and we're feeding all of our cows, and now their productivity is going to improve, and we're all going to be happy. What a letdown. Let's see if they take these. I mean, logic would say that they will, but had enough of that today. All right. At least the cows shouldn't die for until I can get this sorted out. Okay. I think what I'm going to do now is okay seed is full in this one do a little yard management. We don't often have time to do this kind of stuff on recording, so I'll try it out today. Nothing says a busy May morning on the farm quite like bare minimum farm maintenance. <laughs> I'm so Oh gosh. I, I know it was like two episodes ago I was like, I'm sorry I'm being so negative, but and now here I am. That thing, gosh, that and I don't know if you guys have ever seen the the uh, fermenting silos in this, but they're not cheap. Did that work or did it fall through? Looks like it worked. Alright, great. I think this stuff over here is lime, not, not solid fertilizer. So we'll put, we'll put that in the back of the gator, if it'll take it. Head on over to the swamp, get the gator. Okay. 
Help me understand here, game. <laughs> okay, still don't understand, but it's done. It's it's cleaned up. Hopefully, it'll let me put it in there. <laughs> I wonder if it'll let me just R fill out of the bucket. me hitting R. You can probably hear me clicking. Okay. R fill doesn't work. Was I just like not lined up right? <gasps> I wasn't lined up right. It did work. I'm the idiot. The game is not broken. On this particular occasion. Okay. Alrighty. Uh you know what? You know what? I I might I might come to regret this. But what if? What if we just zoom time? I don't even care if we lose productivity. I just have to see how this works. Let's zoom time until this one is fermented and see if it gives us a prompt to open. I bet it's treating the whole sausage together. I bet that's what's going on. We'll, we'll find out together, guys. This will be our little... Our little experiment. I, we do need um, for our fields. Oh, the soybeans. Yeah, I guess we're not doing soybeans this year. <laughs> I didn't put any in. And it's already pretty late. The field will be ready up there. Or we could just put in a small patch of soybeans. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 65%. You know what? We're going to have to wait and do that tomorrow. We're just going to have to check it tomorrow. Let's... Let's take... This guy... And at least put in, you know what, I also, I can't remember if the other planter will also let you plant soybeans. But even if we just do a small patch, I think it's worth our time. Oh, er, <laughs> brakes, <laughs> brakes, find the brakes. Even if I just put in a small patch on the top where it's a little more flat, that does feel worthwhile to me. 
however much 360 seed gets us maybe I like the natural feel of this farm layout a lot. So that's 20 seed up to there. 20. Yeah, let's double that. It gets so squirrely when I turn around like that. I don't quite understand why, but it just does. So at 40 per row, or per pass, we get 9 passes? I'm bad at mental math. Something like that, close to it. Which be a nice little patch. And if we end up going with pigs, they like soybeans. Or we can just sell them off the field. And put in a better crop next year. I just really don't feel like doing probably five hours worth of gameplay putting in a soybean crop right now. That cornfield was such a huge operation. And honestly, the only reason I'm doing it this way is because I thought that the silage was going to be good to go. Then I would have come up here and done this job properly. Say la vie. That end of the field is going to be such a mess. I still really like this setup. Pretty sweet farm. I don't know uh, at this point how many people are are watching these episodes through but if you're still around at the 25 minute mark I have to say thank you so much it really means a lot to me glad that people are interested in 
uh, my vintage farming style. I don't know if there are some people that want me to be more vintage, if that's why they don't stick around, like they want me to use more of the older, old-fashioned stuff. I know 90s probably doesn't feel super vintage to a lot of folks, but I mean, we're kind of limited by what's available. I could never run a farm this size with you know, John Deere A and B and stuff like that. I, I guess I could if I time-lapsed everything, but then you lose the charm of running the operation. You know what I mean? It's like a catch-22. Maybe I could have like a super small farm with those. Maybe that's what I should do put a little video effect on it to make it look grainy and black and white like a genuine old time TV show or something. Farming with Pappy Bluebelly on the old John Deere farm. Also, I haven't done this view yet in this episode. I've often thought about trying to do a whole series in first person, and I think that would be... Oh! Wrong button. Don't, don't hit V when you mean to hit C. Uh, I've often thought about trying to do a whole... series in first person but I think that would be that would be such a headache over time it would be a cute novelty for about one episode maybe two there's so much in this game that would be challenging to do in strictly first person though all right I think we get what would be three more passes and we'll be done this is actually not a, a small piece of land, ultimately. This section that I'm putting in soybeans here is going to be bigger than some whole fields I've done in other saves. So, I think we'll be alright with it. I, would, I do wonder what the yield is. Like seed to yield ratio on these crops. I could test it with this one because we know it's exactly one batch of seed and probably the whole load will fit in the trailer. And I know things like the amount of fertilizer affect the yield and whether or not there will be... So there shouldn't be... Uh, weeds on this crop because it was plowed so that will help the yield for sure all right I think about yeah one more pass I didn't get any comments on the previous video if anybody knows of good a good seed tender operation that would work for this size farm we have the gator which obviously would be perfect for that job but I can't seem to fill the cedar from the gator that was an issue we had in the very beginning if anybody knows how to fix that, that would also be welcome information. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Happy fields done. <laughs> not bad. Not not a bad little piece of ground. I like it. Hope you guys like it too. We could easily probably quintuple that for the next time. And I may end up doing corn up here next year and do something else in this middle field because I definitely won't do corn in the same field every time. That's one crop I will rotate just because it uh, is, is rough on the soil. It doesn't matter on farm sim, of course, but just by way of trying to be a little more uh, accurate, more just you know realistic. I don't want to just spam corn in the same field over and over. That is such a beautiful, luscious field. Luscious. All right, I think before I park this, I'll go ahead and fill it up. I don't want to be that guy on the farm, you know? You guys know who that guy is. The one that uses equipment and then doesn't leave it ready to go. Although, I would imagine in real life you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't fill up seed and then park it. You would leave the seed in the proper silo until you're ready to plant. Oh, you know what, let's put it beside that other cedar. Okay. We are... What? Alrighty, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out the episode. Thanks for sticking around if you're still here at the end. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.